Just got this in. I purchased it so that I can use it with my VR. I'm gonna see if it actually works with the VR. I have the uh, Oculus first version. The, and I'm using my laptop. The laptop I have has four USB 3.0 ports, but it only, but uh, three of them are available. And I have uh, one, two, three sensors, the Oculus headset, and also I need to plug in. I have the Logitech uh, G29 steering wheel with the pedals and the uh, gear shifter. So I need a total of three, four, five USB ports. I only have three on the laptop. So what I would like to do, because the laptop doesn't sit doing the Oculus all the time, I'd like to temporarily be able to put it at desk and just plug it in with one USB port and run Oculus and everything works. Since this is a an Anchor plug-in seven data port, three power ports, uh, chargers, I'm hoping that this will solve the issue so that I don't have to keep the laptop there or, you know, use a bunch of different USB ports. Uh, so I'm hoping this will solve the issue and I can just plug in and plug out. So I'll let you know if it works. So this is the box it comes in. Anchor, well-known name. I have, I don't know how many. So as you can see, Anchor 7 port USB 3.0 and three smart charging ports. And um, I'll probably end up I'm not sure if I'm going to plug in the headset to this. I'll probably plug in the headset to this. But I don't know if I can, uh, the separate connection will reach the HDMI connection to the laptop. So I have to see that. The laptop itself can handle the VR system. I think it has a 1060 or 1070 video card. So I'm hoping that this will solve the issue. I believe that yeah, it's going through one port. So each port. Um, oh, it's also, I believe, 65 watts. So it has a lot of power plugged in. So that should not be an issue. And it should be able to power the uh, three sensors the headset, and the Logitech G29 steering wheel. Okay. That's the seven USB ports. That's the three charging ones. Power. This is, I think, the third one I've purchased. They work well. I've never had an issue. I've seen uh, some people have issues with it, but for the most part, it has pretty good ratings on Amazon. I know Amazon ratings are not 100% reliable, but yeah, other websites like Best Buy or um, just another website, it's got a pretty good rating. And Anchor is Anchor. It's a household name to computer uh, users. But this should be the power. Nothing in there. Um, the power plug that goes to the brick. And the power brick. Uh, just in case you lose it, you can come back to the video and see the specs on the actual power supply. So that's everything that comes in the box. Let me just measure the cables and the device so you get an idea of the size. The power plug that plugs into the power brick. Uh, it's about 47 
inches or three feet 11 inches long. Then the power brick, power cable that comes off the power brick that's permanently connected is about 46 inches long or three feet 11 inches that's almost i believe seven feet total in length the actual brick itself is uh four and five eighths uh one and seven eighths is that right and then the thickness is uh let me start it at the one. It's uh, about one and a quarter, that looks like. So if I put it there, yeah, about one and a quarter. One and a quarter in thickness. The USB cable. USB 3.0 cable. It's about... I'm going to say two feet, seven inches. That should be total amount or maybe 32 inches or two feet, eight inches. The USB hub. Uh, lengthwise is uh, five and three quarters. Thickness is seven eighths. And uh, what else is there? Uh, about almost three quarters, five eighths. An inch and five eighths. Um, that's it. Okay. So let's try it out on the laptop and I'll let you know if it works with the Oculus. That's why I purchased it for. And I'm hoping it works. And if it works for that, it'll pretty much work with anything. I found this in my drawer. It's a longer cable. So I'm going to put this one in there. It'll fit perfectly. It's from another device. I had it still in the wrapped up. So I'm going to use it for this so that I have much more of a distance. So I can put my laptop further away when I'm setting it all up. So this cable is 79 inches, uh, 79 inches or six feet, seven inches. I got some Velcro. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Velcro in the back right here. I hope it sticks and I'm gonna Velcro it. I'll probably Velcro a piece here and here and Velcro it to the wall. Put it in the back of the PC right there. It worked. Dirt Rally, I'm playing the game right now. It works perfectly. So the setup is all the Oculus items, all my uh, sensor, and everything's running through the Anchor seven port data three port power usb i got the controller um adapter that's right there and everything plugs into this usb blue cable and then the hdmi directly to the actual computer to run the racer and it's working perfectly so if you're looking to do that to limit so now basically what i could do is I could just unplug this and this and I'm ready to go. I have the power connected, but it's nice to be able to uh, not have all those cables there trying to plug them into this. So that's, uh, it's on the wall and I just have to take this out and plug it in and get everything working. And it minimizes all the cables. All right, so I hope this video helps, and if you're looking to put everything in one hub so you can run it off of there, and no issues whatsoever. Let me just show you. So let me exit the game. Uh, 
I'm running it through Steam. So you go to the Oculus and you go to Devices. You're going to see everything's up. Everything is green. So there's no issues whatsoever with power or anything. It provides enough power, enough throughput, so it has no issues. Everything is green. My right touch, I have to change the battery and let me just touch this over here just to shine. Oh, that's the right one. Oh, there it is. See, connected 100%. I have to change out the battery on one of them. So everything's working. So the seven port USB hub, if you're looking to minimize cables and put all the Oculus devices into this. And I believe, yep, I used up every single port because of the uh, driving. So it's three sensors, one Microsoft controller, the headset, and the G29 steering wheel setup. All right, I hope you liked the video and I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye.